Welcome back to the next video. The previous two videos dealing with this angle bracket heel toe reaction loads and analysis. The first one was about a load going up vertically on the upstanding leg of the L bracket. And the second video was a load going to the left. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to look at the solution for this problem when the load is going to the right. Okay. I've had the uh, some people ask me on YouTube in the comment section that uh, what would it be like if the load is going the other way towards the right instead of to the left. Okay, so even though I answered the, the question in the uh, comment section, I wanted to post a video about it. So I'm excited to share this with you. So uh, well, let's get started. Okay, so let's get right into this new video, into this new problem. Um, so first thing we're gonna look at is our angle bracket and its initial position. You can see here, this is the bracket over here. And in the previous video, this load was going to the left. Now this load is going to the right, okay? It's the reverse direction. So uh, what is the free body diagram FBD going to look like? This is going to be our free body diagram, okay? Previously, this triangular heel toe reaction distribution was over here to the left of the fastener axis, uh, all the way to the edge of this bracket. But this time, as you load it at the top to the right, this heel toe reaction is assumed to be on, under this bracket from the fastener, increasing linearly all the way to the edge of this bracket, okay? So uh, this is our distribution and this is our two-third distance from the fastener axis. So we have our heel toe reaction over here at two-thirds the distance of this fastener axis. Uh, I mean the two-thirds of the distance uh, which is from the edge of the bracket to the fastener. So that would be x over here. And then we have our, our vertical moment arm for px which is y. And then we also have our horizontal uh, reaction load Rx which equals Px okay and we're going to get into all of these calculations uh, in the next uh, hand calculations part so as we know we have three different uh, entities here Fx, Fy and Mz uh, that we need to use and uh, first thing we're going to do is force balance it's the same as before sigma Fx equals to zero and therefore Px must equals Rx okay so um, the Next equation that we're gonna get into is sigma Fy equals zero, sum of vertical loads equal to zero, and therefore Rft is equal to Rht. This is the same as, as previously uh, that we looked at in the Px going to the left video. So uh, over here, there's no other vertical forces, so therefore Rft must equal Rht. So the reaction to the heel toe is equal to the reaction uh, at the fastener Ft, okay? So these two are our, are our force balance equations. The next thing we're gonna get into is the moment balance. So what we have here is mz, it's moment about an axis coming out of this center point, a, a virtual fastener center point. Um, so we're gonna take moments about this point. So we have px. Now, you might be asking, why do we go all the way to the bottom here? Why not just stop over here? Well, we could. Uh, just this is generally a conservative practice and it's a well-known easily deducible value from the drawing or from you know the solid model whatever so we can easily find out what the vertical uh, total vertical uh, moment arm is and it's a little little conservative a little more conservative than using this but generally we don't use this we just use it the distance from the top all the way to the bottom, okay? So this is our moment due to Px about that about the fastener. And uh, this moment has to equal, because we're taking the moments about the fastener axis, we don't need to consider the Rft here. So we, we're gonna use Rht. Rht over here from the fastener axis is x. So that's our horizontal uh, distance from this point. And this is causing a balancing moment type uh, effect. So that's what balances the moment applied due to Px times y. So that's what we're going to do. Px times y equals Rht times x. Therefore, Rht is equal to Px 
times y divided by x, which again is the same as RFT as we have already concluded using our sigma fy equal to zero equilibrium equation. All right, so there you have it folks. It's a short, sweet video dealing with the uh, a relatively uncommon scenario of loading of that particular bracket. Um, and uh, as as I have mentioned before, if you want to check out all the free blog posts, technical blog posts on stress engineering and aerospace in general, visit the blog and there's the website address for you. Also, you can get a free e-booklet for now. Uh, it may not be free forever, so uh, you might want to check it out and get that e-book over there. And uh, also, you have a bunch of really, really good quality uh, course materials uh, in the paid courses and I strongly encourage you to enroll as a premium member to enjoy all the benefits of a premium membership on the website. So thank you so much for sticking with me here and uh, we'll see you in the next video.